So once again time, the least understood, the least explored, the least explained feature of our universe. Very few things we know about this. It only flows in one direction, never goes back, and goes through any and everything. If for nothing else, we can look at the entropy. Human beings have a time machine built into them. Human beings, or members of the species called Homo sapiens, the thinking human. Because whilst they're doing something, they are here in the present. They are also able to, in their mind, think about the past, reflect on things, or regret things, as well as think about the future, try to estimate, try to predict, try to plan, or just worry anxiously about things. This is time traveling, because physically they are in the present, but in their mind, at the very same time, are able to look at the past vividly, and some of us quite vividly, not only visually, but as an internal experience. The constellation of hormones, neurotransmitters, biochemicals in their blood, that's also part of the fabric of reality for them, the experience. Time is a unique experience for every single one of us. However, it does have some mutual, similarly looking and feeling features of it. There seems to be developing a fallacy. Um, and whenever I go on the App Store on my mobile device and it says time management application, we cannot manage time. Um, that's a fallacy, a developing fallacy now. No, there is no such thing as time management. Time manages us, but we cannot manage time. Not yet, at least. Again, very little we know about it. But that seemed to be impacting and influencing most of the things. When we do things like um, risk assessment, we only tend to be dealing with two dimensions, the likelihood uh, or probability of something to occur and the consequence, how profound it's going to be. But for some reason, we keep leaving time out of the equation, significance for how long a certain predicted future event will impact the everyday lives of individuals and anyone who are within the network of interconnections with them. So it is time to respect time a little bit more. Moreover, I do think luck, being lucky, is something time-related. We must let go the idea everything that occurs in our lives um, is either a result of a human action or a mission. No, there is randomness also, but we must not use randomness as an excuse for thinking, as an excuse for taking responsibility for the parts of conscious existence that we can and must control and take responsibility for or be accountable for. Have a good afternoon. This is 15th of November 2023 from the Royal Observatory here in Greenwich. A lovely, bright, but rather chilly day. There are times when I feel I need to come here, particularly when I get a little bit carried away, perhaps arrogant or even big headed. Because when I'm sitting in the planetarium, uh, watching and listening the presentation they have, it just fills me with humbleness. That's, I guess, the way of meeting uh, my own human, humane, spiritual needs. Many other people who have faith, I'm sure they do something similar. And I'm not talking about religion, that's a different kettle of fish. 
faith and religion are not the same thing. So I think that's my way of kind of experiencing that uh, humility, humbleness, that helps me to keep in keep myself, my persona, my ego in check. Once again, have a lovely afternoon on 15th of November 2023.